Hello, my name is Rangster, and I'm going to go over my OBS settings for my microphone that I use, which is the HyperX Cloud Alpha S. If you want to check out my review for this headset, you can click in the upper right-hand corner on that card that you see there if you want to check out my review for the headset as well. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this type of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for the next one. Let's go ahead and hop right in. All right, once you have OBS pulled up in front of you and you have your HyperX Cloud Alpha S set as your default input device, you're going to go ahead and set up some filters. Filters are the feature that OBS provides you that will help you make your microphone sound so much better than it does outside of the box. To do this, you're going to go ahead and locate your audio mixer. Once the audio mixer is located, you're going to go ahead and click those three dots that you see next to the microphone input. Once you do that, you'll see a new menu and you're going to go ahead and click on the filters option for me. Doing so will pull up a new window. In that new window, you'll see the two filters that I'm currently running, which is compressor and noise suppression. The compressor is really convenient and a nice thing to have because it'll limit any super loud noises that might be coming through your microphone that might blow anyone's eardrums out, for example. And the noise suppression will help limit any white noise or fuzz that you might have coming through any PC fans or anything like that in your room. So having those two together is a very, very nice thing to do. It's a good combo. Um, to set up your first filter, you're going to go ahead and look for that plus sign that you see in the bottom left hand corner of that window. And you're going to go ahead and click on compressor for me. Now it'll come up with some of the default settings, which might look different from the ones that you see on my screen. Uh, the settings that I'm currently running for the HyperX Cloud Alpha S is a ratio of seven to one, a threshold of negative 14.2 decibels with an attack of five milliseconds, and my release is 50 milliseconds. Now that'll just kind of set the level that it wants to limit and how much it'll limit it by and how quick it'll also act. Um, the output gain kind of also is beneficial if you want to make sure you can still hear that audio over another audio source that you might have running, like a video game in the background. Uh, so I do have a negative two decibel with my output gain as well to kind of make sure I can still hear my audio source over anything else that I'm running. I don't have any sidechain or ducking, so I left mine as none. Um, you'll probably do the same unless you want to try to experiment with anything else. Um, as far as the noise suppression, I chose the method of RNN noise, which provides a better quality, but it does use more CPU. Um, it does also have a method of specs. So if you have you know, a PC that might be struggling to perform with some of the games you're running while you're streaming, go ahead and do specs. It will use lower CPU usage, but it does have a lower quality audio. Um, so if you have the capability, go ahead and run RNN noise like I do. And then once those two are set up, you'll go ahead and close those windows. And those are basically the two filters that I need as far as you know the room setup that I have. Your room might be a little bit different, so you might have to tweak some of those threshold um, and output gain, um, for example, just to kind of tweak with your surroundings because you might have more echo, depending if you have a wood floor or a hard floor. I have carpet in my room, so that kind of helps um, with any of the echoes that you might experience if you're in a setup like that. So go ahead and tweak and play around with those threshold and output gains um, if you want, if it's not sounding exactly like it does for me. But I hope this helps. And thank you all for taking the time to uh, look at my OBS settings again for my HyperX Cloud Alpha S. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.